Hey Thrive Kids, Miss Kristen's here and our family is going to be helping with the lesson today. But first I want to know, what do you have a favorite Christmas decoration? Like can you go in your house and get it really quick or point it out if it's too big for you to carry? Well, I'll show you mine. See this cute little church? I love this because it reminds me growing up how we would go to church for Christmas and sing Christmas songs and celebrate baby Jesus being born. But I think my most favorite church service memory ever was when Deanna's dad, Mr. Fata, did the fire dance inside Van Horn High School. So that was pretty awesome. So even before Jesus was born, so many things happened to help prepare the way for him. And there were two people, Zachariah and Elizabeth. They were married to each other and they really wanted a baby so badly and they prayed to God. And Elizabeth did end up having a boy named John who was Jesus' cousin. And when Mary found out that she was having baby Jesus and she went to tell her, her uh, cousin Elizabeth, baby John, even though he was still in his mother's tummy, leaped for joy just knowing that he was going to be born to help prepare the way for God's son. And after John was born, his dad, Zachariah, wrote a really beautiful poem all about how his son was going to be a prophet for the Son of God, Jesus. And Nora's going to be telling you some more about John's life and what he did. Today we're going to learn about John the Baptist. You've probably never heard that name before. Well, I have. John was actually Jesus' cousin. He lived in the wilderness. He ate locusts and wild honey. It was kind of gross. But he also wore animal skins and leaves and stuff like that. One day, Jesus came over to his cousin John and said, Will you baptize me? John was kind of confused. I mean, wouldn't you be? Because Jesus doesn't need you baptized. Being baptized is having your sin washed away. But Jesus didn't have any sin. So John asked why. Jesus replied that he wanted to be a good example for other people so they can know what being baptized is. So now other people can get baptized like you and me. I bet you probably haven't gotten baptized yet, but if you have, good. Because when Jesus got baptized, something really cool happened. Uh, a little spot of heaven literally opened up and shined on Jesus. And a little dove came out. That's pretty cool. So I hope you like this lesson. Bye. So later in John's life, he has some doubts. We find that he was put in prison for trying to live a godly life, which sounds awful, right? And he started to wonder, was Jesus who he says, said he was? And Jesus responds with proof in Matthew 11. He says, the blind receive sight, the dead are raised back to life. Proof that Jesus is God and he is the real deal. So, this whole lesson has been about preparing the way for Jesus. So we're preparing for Christmas, right? That's coming in just a couple weeks here, and we're so excited about that. And so just like John prepared the way for Jesus to come, we want to prepare the way for Jesus to come as well. And so I think there's a few ways you can do that. You can serve others. And when people ask, why are you doing this? You can say, because Jesus loves me and Jesus loves you. You can give, you can be kind, you can tell people about the love of God, the love of Jesus. You can prepare the way by how you live your life. Thank you guys. Have a great day.